hello and welcome to my channel my name is tahir and in this video we are going to talk about some new features in google doc google is constantly adding new features and some of these new features are really amazing that i want to share with you so without further ado let's get started i have opened a google document and the first feature i am going to show you is pageless format if i scroll down on this document as you can see that it has page breaks sometimes we don't want to have this page break if it is a continuous document very lengthy document we just uh, want to put on google docs so we don't like this page break and now they have added this pageless format now to go from page format to pageless format you click on file and then page setup and now you have two tabs page tab where we have page sizes and other information but there is another tab which is pageless so if i click on that it will show me a brief introduction to pageless format that i can now consume content without interruption i can add large images and tables in my google document if you click on this learn more there is some extra information which is basically that if you have any headers and footers that will not be added in pageless format but when you go back to your page format your headers and footers will be there but i am happy with that so i click on okay and now if i scroll down or up there is no page break now another important thing about pageless format is that you can change the width and to do that you click on view and then text width and now there are three different text widths are available in pageless format narrow medium and wide currently it's medium if i click on narrow so this is the size and let's go back to wide now and as you can see that now it is very wide in this pageless format on the left hand side you can add page summary if it's a large document you might want to add some summary about this then there is an index and for this index to appear make sure that you add some headings and subheadings to your document only then those headings and subheadings will appear here for example this is my heading 1 so how to add this simply you can select this text then you click on format then paragraph styles so in this area i have selected this heading 1 as you can see that there is a tick here and i can change this to heading 2 or heading 3 so heading 1 is your title and then subtitle are some section of your document will be heading 2 and so on so i have selected these headings so therefore i can have this index on the left side and when i click any of these i can reach that particular section of the document so in order to go back to page format you click on file page setup and you simply select this pages tab and click okay and now my document is again in the page format so in this way you can go from pageless format to page format in google docs now the second feature i would like to show you is text on images so let us insert an image here so i click on insert image and i click on upload from my computer and i have created this one image so i click on that and open now this image is now inside my google document and if i click on that image there are few options at the bottom of the image previously you were only able to wrap the text around this image inline text and these kind of things where your text will be all around the image but not inside the image this was not possible before but now there are two options behind text it means your image will be behind text and in front of text so i want my image to be behind the text so that i can put my heading in this green area so therefore i select this option and click and now if i move this image upward my text will appear on top of the image i can click on this area i can select this text i can change the font size 
by clicking minus or plus here and I can also change the font color. Now the next feature I would like to show you is a checklist feature which is slightly older, not very new, but some of you might not know this. So if I scroll down at the end, I have written few points. Let's say these are some of the topics I'm going to cover in my next YouTube video. And now I want to have a checklist here. So to do that, I select this text and in this area where there were some number list and some other lists, there is one icon with these tick marks. And this is the checklist option in Google Docs. If I click on that, a checklist is added on my document. And let's say underneath this, I am preparing the transcript of my video and I have prepared, for example, this part. So when I click on that, this will be crossed. So it is kind of interactive, which is very powerful. When I prepare the transcript for the next section, I can cross those items from my checklist. The next feature I'm going to talk about is closely related to checklist and that is called drop down list and drop down list have certain advantages. Number one is that they conserve space instead of putting three, four options, you can put a drop down list. Let me delete this. Let us say I am working in a team and I want to assign this document to one of my team members and I want to put a drop down list at the top of my Google document so that I could assign this to any one of those. And this is the second advantage of a drop down list that you don't make errors and any user of the document will know what to do. So to insert, there are two ways to insert a drop down list. First is that you click on insert and there is a drop down list. So I click on that and now I have a few options. There are some preset drop down list where there are some options. Then there is a yes, no, and there is one which I created before. I can also create a new drop down list. And to do that, I click on new drop down. And now I can give it a name. And when I give this drop down a name, that will be included into those templates. So let us give it a name, assignment list and now I put the name of our team members and let's say I only have three so I can delete this option and now I click save and now this drop down list is here and I can assign this document to any of my team members and then I can share the document with that person. So very useful feature. Now let me show you the other way of adding the drop down list is that you type add sign and when you type add sign all these building blocks will appear here and at the very end is drop down. As you can see that my newly created drop down list is already available there. I can edit this. Let me edit this and one feature I want to show you is that you can add colors. So you can add colors to your team members if you want and this color feature is sometimes very useful and I click save. And now as you can see that my team members also have certain color. Another new feature in Google Docs is in tables area. So if I click on insert table, I can insert any table. And now we have this new section at the top, table templates. And there are few table templates available. So one of this is very useful, which is a content tracker. So if I click on that, this table will be inserted here. And this is a table template. If you are a YouTuber, you plan contents. If you are a course creator, you are planning your content, you can use this template. So there are few table templates are available in Google Docs. And the last feature I would like to show you in this video is emoji reaction. So if you click on insert, at the very end, there is a feature emoji reactions. If I click on that, at this point where the text is highlighted, I can insert any emoji. There are various categories of these emojis. As you can see, when you hover over this icon, it is showing you food and drinks and there are some other categories available. So I can select this emoji and I can click insert and this emoji will appear in front of this text in my Google document. Now there are still few new features such as watermarks and compare documents that I will show you in my next video because otherwise this video will become very long. So these were some of the new features in Google Docs. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.